Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a man named Raj. Raj was known throughout the village for his honesty and hard work. He worked as a farmer and spent his days tending to his fields, growing various crops to support his family. One summer, a severe drought hit the village. Rain became scarce, and the crops in the fields began to wither away. The villagers were worried about their livelihoods, as the drought showed no sign of ending. Food was becoming scarce, and people were getting desperate. One day the village headman, Mr. Sharma, gathered all the villagers and proposed a solution. He said, I have heard of a powerful rainmaker who lives in the neighboring village. We should send someone to request his help. With his magical powers, he can surely bring rain to our parched lands. The villagers agreed with the headman's idea and began discussing who should go to ask for the rainmaker's assistance. After much debate, they decided that Raj, the honest and hardworking farmer, should be the one to make the journey. Raj was both honored and worried about this responsibility. He had never left the village before, and the journey to the neighboring village was long and treacherous. Nevertheless, he accepted the task, as he knew that the village's survival depended on it. Raj set out on his journey early the next morning, carrying only a small bag of essentials and a message from the headman, requesting the rainmaker's help. The path was unfamiliar, and he walked for days, facing scorching heat and dusty winds. But his determination and belief in the goodness of his mission kept him going. Finally, after a week of travel, Raj reached the neighboring village. He inquired about the rainmaker and was directed to a humble cottage on the outskirts. There, he found an old man named Guruji, who was renowned for his rainmaking abilities. Raj approached Guruji and respectfully handed him the headman's message. Guruji read the message carefully and looked at Raj with a kind smile. He said, My child, I am aware of your village's plight, but I must tell you that I cannot make it rain. Rain is a natural phenomenon, and I have no magical powers to control it. Raj was disheartened to hear this. He had traveled so far with hope in his heart, but it seemed his journey had been in vain. He thanked Guruji for his time and prepared to leave. However, as Raj was about to depart, Guruji called him back and said, Wait, young man. While I cannot make it rain, I can offer you something else. I can teach you a special dance, a rain dance, which has been passed down through generations in my family. It may not guarantee rain, but it will bring hope and unity to your village. Raj agreed to learn the rain dance and stayed with Guruji for several days, practicing the intricate steps and movements. Guruji was impressed by Raj's dedication and sincerity, and he believed that Raj could carry the message of hope back to his village. When Raj returned to his village, he gathered all the villagers and performed the rain dance he had learned from Guruji. As he danced, his genuine belief and determination shone through, and the villagers joined him with enthusiasm. Days turned into weeks, and although rain did not immediately fall, the village began to change. The unity and hope that had been lost during the drought were rekindled by Raj's efforts. The villagers started working together to conserve water and support one another through the challenging times. One day, as Raj was tending to his fields, he noticed dark clouds gathering in the sky. The winds began to blow, and within hours, rain poured down, quenching the thirst of the parched land. The villagers rejoiced, and their gratitude to Raj knew no bounds. The morale of the story is that honesty, hard work, and determination can bring hope and positive change, even in the face of adversity. Raj's unwavering belief in his mission and his commitment to his village ultimately led to their salvation.